Okay, we're talking right now about our common points of shared faith. And uh, what we like to do in this is just illustrate the fact that Team Expansion is an independent, non-denominational fellowship of Christian believers. We're committed to the church as revealed in the New Testament, to the unity of the church for the purposes of world evangelism and to the principles of our Christian church heritage as expressed by phrases like these. Where the Bible speaks, we speak. Where the Bible is silent, we are silent. In essentials, unity and opinions liberty, and in all things love. We're not the only Christians, but we are Christians only. The Bible, then, is the basis for our belief, and the Bible, of course, consists of the 66 books that we follow. Uh, we believe that they're all uniquely God-inspired and without error, and in fact that they're the final authority on all matters of faith and practice, as can be seen in scriptures like these. Uh, we believe in God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. As far as God goes, we believe there is one true and living God who is perfect in all his attributes. We feel like God is one, but he exists in three persons, a Father, a Son, and the Holy Spirit, each possessing all the attributes of deity and deserving of our worship and obedience. In the beginning, God created the universe and everything in it out of nothing, and by his sovereign power, he continues to sustain his creation. By his providence, he's operating throughout history to fulfill his plan of redemption. We also believe in Jesus Christ. We believe that he is equal with God, but surrendered the privilege of deity and came to earth to pay the debt for the souls of people. We believe that Jesus was born of a virgin, that he lived a sinless life, and was so qualified to pay for our sins by dying on the cross as our substitute. He physically rose from the dead and ascended to the right hand of the Father, where he now mediates as our advocate and high priest. Jesus will return to earth visibly to fulfill history and judge all mankind according to the eternal plan of God. He will return in a majestic and triumphant second coming. We do not hold to any particular position on how the second coming will happen as an organization. We also believe in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a divine person, co-equal with the Father and the Son and all the divine attributes. He convicts the minds of sinners. He awakens in them recognition of their need for a Savior and offers them new life in Christ. At the point of salvation, he permanently indwells every believer and equips him or her for personal growth and service to the church. The indwelling of the Spirit is a divine guarantee of a believer's salvation until the day of redemption. We believe that the Holy Spirit endows Christians with spiritual gifts. These gifts are intended to strengthen the church and glorify Christ. Most churches and individuals that are affiliated with Team Expansion do not participate in public expression of what you might call supernatural gifts. We recognize that some of our fellow believers have strong convictions about special giftedness. We acknowledge their freedom to practice private worship as God so leads them, but we ask that they not be openly evangelistic about their convictions. We believe that mankind's greatest need, that the central purpose of God's revelation in Scripture, in fact, is to call all people into fellowship with Him. God originally created human beings to have fellowship with Him and to glorify Him, but they defy God by sinfully choosing to go their own way. As a result of all that, people suffered alienation from God and the corruption of human nature. The salvation of humankind, therefore, is completely a work of God's free grace not the result of human works or goodness. The salvation is a gift it's made available through faith in Jesus Christ and Him only. We believe in baptism and the Lord's Supper. Baptism, we believe, is commanded by our Lord and His apostles. Everyone who professes faith in Christ must be baptized for the forgiveness of sins and to receive the promised gift of the Holy Spirit. This gift ensures that the Christian has the spiritual power to live for Christ. You can refer back to the Holy Spirit section above. We believe baptism should occur as soon as possible upon confession of faith in Christ, as modeled in the book of Acts. And we believe baptism by immersion is taught in Scripture and demonstrates the death, the burial, and the resurrection of both the believer and of Jesus Christ. We believe baptism demonstrates fellowship and identification with the church, which is the visible body of Christ. We believe the purpose of the Lord's Supper is to remember Christ's death until He comes, and it should always be preceded by solemn self-examination. 
Even though the loaf and cup are only representative of the flesh and blood of Christ, the Lord's Supper is nevertheless an actual communion with the risen Christ, who is present in a spiritual way in fellowship with his people. In the example of the early church, we offer the Lord's Supper weekly. There is an element of human destiny, and that human destiny, we believe that death seals the eternal destiny of each person. For all humankind, there will be a resurrection of the body into the spiritual world and a judgment that will determine the fate of each individual. The saved will be raised to eternal life and will be rewarded for works done in this life, and the unsaved to judgment and everlasting punishment. That, those are our common points of shared faith, and that's what we believe in Team Expansion.